as the popular saying goes garbage in garbage out you are what you eat so is your ad your ad is as good as what they ingest or what they take this is isaac of bobby animal farm welcoming you to the good lecture series titled starting a good farm today's lecture is called good nutrition goats are generally known to eat almost anything the car that comes across their way or they come across from tins to boxes to cardboard and so on and as in as much as goat samples virtually everything they come across they are actually careful eaters in that they select what they finally ingest or what they finally take in there is a meat around that goats are grazers that is they graze on grass just like cattle and sheep this is a no no it's false goats if you are going to classify them as grazers but better said they graze on shrubs woody plants and on trees and once a while or occasionally on broad-leaved plants these are some means that have been cleared already and in this lecture just stay tuned we'll be treating the feed requirements of your goat herd the cost of nutrients and the availability of feeds as these are very important or germane in getting the best out of whatever you have within your environment for your goat herd stay tuned and enjoy continuing with the feed requirements of your goat herd the growth and different stages of growth in your goat farm or of your goats in your herd has a lot to determine in their feed requirements. With the winning top on this list, winlings are kid goats newly weaned from their does, followed by goats in their last month of gestation, then the high lactating and the average lactating does, the yearlings, the bugs, and the dry does. These are the groupings in which they need the highest and the best nutrients or feed nutrients available in terms of their feed requirements. You give the best feed available to your uh, in your head to the winnings, followed by the doze in the last month of gestation, followed by the lactating doze, the yearlings, the box, and the dry doze. This is the category. And whatever feed you are giving your animals or your goods, or your, whatever feed you are feeding your ad, you are giving to your ad has to take into, into cognizance the five most essential feed nutrients, which are water, portable water, vitamins and minerals, protein nutrients, and energy feed sources. All these are essential for the growth and the productivity maximization of your goat herd. This will take us into the nutrient cost of your animals. This is the economic aspect of your feeding your goat Add. It's quite important to know the various feed sources available to you in your locality or in your environment and now you can easily switch search depending on cost and availability. There are, there are nutrients or, or feed nutrients that are high and costly while there are, there are some that are low in that same particular nutrient and less costly than the high ones. Knowing having a knowledge of this and supplementing them or mixing them to, in order to attain the right nutritional requirement or proportion is highly important as this will help conserve scarce economic resources. That is that for the, for the economic aspect of feeding your goods. The last but not the least in this is the feed availability. During there are certain times in the year in which certain in which grazing or browsing may not provide sufficient nutrients for your animals and during this period when the brows and phobes are not at their best or at their peak you know what they are lacking and kindly supplement with feed concentrates that are that are full in this in, in, in giving this nutrient or supplying this nutrient to your good ad thereby making sure that there is no deficit deficit in the nutrient requirement of your goods and in what you're giving your goods in order to maintain high productivity of your goods add. Surely going through this and doing this definitely will have will, will beyond being economical for your animal will as well increase their productivity which in turn makes you get the best out of the animal and increases your joy in the business or in the work you've chosen to do which is good farming.